was, it was a, it was a long, thorough, yeah. thorough, th thorough. It was a thorough I'm, training. I'm so tired. <laughs> Today, we have a little bit of a different episode. We're going back to our beginnings. That's right, back to our roots, so to speak. <laughs> exactly. We are at Lazy Days in Tampa, Florida. This place is like Disney World for RV addicts. <laughs> this is where we started and where we finished, actually. Yeah. yeah, this is the world's largest RV dealership. They have over 1,500 RVs just here in this particular location, mm -hmm. but they have over 2,700 across the country. They've got five dealerships in four markets. Right. So it's if crazy. you're waiting to like see an RV show, don't just come here. It's already an RV show. That's right, because we came here almost every weekend or every other weekend when we were in the market for an RV and we didn't really know what we were doing. Yeah, we're here at Lazy Days. Guess where we are? Back at Lazy Days. So this place is ginormous. What are we doing? We're going to Lazy Days. So we came here a lot and the cool thing is, is you can go in and tour a lot of the rigs. A lot of them are open, so you can just go in and check them out. Yeah, one thing that we thought was really cool when we first came here was we went to reception and basically said, you know, we're not ready to buy yet because we knew we were going to plan for a year. We just wanted to look at everything. They're like, go ahead, go out and look. We found that really neat and it became really fun for us to just come here on a weekend and let's go look at class A's today. Let's go look at toy haulers today. Yeah. So. so you can really take your time. You can walk around, look at everything, or you can get a salesperson if you're if you have a lot of questions and you want to talk to somebody. Right. If you're closer to being ready to buy, then of course you're going to go get a salesperson. For us, we really didn't want to show our ignorance. <laughs> right. Those of you who watch our channel and, and watch us know that we had zero RVing experience <laughs> when, we, when we were shopping and you know we had zero experience until our first night living in an RV. Yeah, they have an enormous service department. Mm -hmm. 234 service bays. I know because it says so right there. <laughs> <laughs> There's a really cool accessory store here which has everything under the sun. Mm -hmm. Really anything you could think of to do with buying or servicing or supplying your RV is here. And that's the one thing that gets really different about this place is we, we first of all, when we were shopping, we went to dealerships from Ohio, North Carolina, Georgia, here. We looked all over the place, and obviously this place has the biggest selection mm -hmm. anywhere. This is where we <laughs> fell in love with our Grand Design Momentum. Yeah, this was, this was uh, our love at first sight, second sight? Second sight. <laughs> we started off wanting a Class A diesel, and we realized that we weren't going to be able to get into that as quickly as we wanted to, mm -hmm. so we switched gears and started looking at toy haulers, and we're glad we did. Right, and that's a little bit of a buying lesson, too. We, we chose, rather than to save for an extra year or so to get what we thought we needed, we kind of changed the paradigm a bit and yeah. broadened our horizons, and actually we're really happy with the way it turned out. Right. So we are excited and very fortunate that Lazy Days has actually allowed us to come here today and take a tour of their whole campus. Right, we wanted to share with you guys where we bought our RV and how awesome we think this place is. That's right, but we're not gonna do this tour all by ourselves. We have a special guest gonna take us on a tour today. Come on in, special guest. Hi guys. <laughs> you might recognize Bama from the Travel Channel show, Big Time RV. That's right. We used to watch this guy when we were learning about RVs and we were, again, very green. Mm -hmm. So how long have you been here at Lazy Days? They have announcements. Okay. Okay. So how long have you been here at Lazy Days? <laughs> 
Yes. I've been here almost five years. Moved here in 2014 from, uh, from Alabama. Alabama. How'd you guess? <laughs> yeah. It's been good. Very Done cool. really good. So we have an experienced salesperson with us today. So yep. we're in good hands. Shall we get this tour started? Let's get a golf yeah. cart. I got yeah. you, you can definitely walk this place, but if you want to go to the far reaches, you need a golf cart. If you want to get a lot of exercise, you can walk this Absolutely. place. Absolutely. Yeah. You ready? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This place is so big, they have a map on a wall, because it's huge. So we are in the sales area, your department. Yep. <laughs> so how many uh, salespeople do you have here? Typically, we range somewhere around 120 salespeople here. Okay, and you have quite a few managers as well, right? Yep, like seven managers that okay. manage just all 120, and of course an internet team that's yeah. at a different location. I guarantee you they'll find a sales guy for you if you want to come here and buy an RV. Yeah, and <laughs> the cool thing is they get a lot of training throughout the year. We do. Yeah, we train every morning. Just uh, typically about 8.30 to 9 o'clock, five days a week, we're going to train on either a motorized or towable, just different brands. That's about 200 hours or so, give or take, of training every year. So that's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. yep. When you walk into Lazy Days, like you said, you can ask for a, a salesperson and they will bring one out for you. You can just ask for Bama. That's true. This that's you can right. Save a lot. You can always just come here and ask for Bama. <laughs> that's right. I mean, why wouldn't you ask for Bama? <laughs> So let's go walk through and head out and get the golf cart. Maybe stop for a soda first. Well, free soda. Yeah. <laughs> So the best part about coming to Lazy Days is all Dr. Pepper you can drink. So if you're here, it's just like Disney World, you're here all day, you need to eat. Yep. Right. So they got a cafeteria here, free sodas. Three restaurants on the property, mm -hmm. not counting Cracker Barrel. Oh, that's right, because in the Crown Club, right? That's you right. got something? The Crown Club oh, yeah. is a restaurant, and then you got Exit 10 over at the campground. Oh, that's Exit right. Exit 10, oh. yeah, so bar people, and grill. Oh, so that's open to even uh, people here. Sure. Oh, I absolutely. Did, I did not know We that. didn't know that. This whole row here is all manufacturer reps. So we oh, have really manufacturer cool. reps that have offices here just for support. And it's not just for training, it's for, you know, customer come in, mm -hmm. wants to, you know, know a little bit more about it. If, you know, if you're with someone they don't know, they go right here, get the reps oh, out of the office. Awesome. Yeah, give them, give us support on it. It's, it's I did not know that. No. Very helpful. We have three for Tiffin, Fleetwood, uh, Forest River. It's BR right there with Forest River, Winnebago. You know, we have a lot of reps that just, this is their, oh, this awesome. is their home away from home. Home, yeah. I didn't know that. As you talked about being a big place, it's uh, about 126 acres is mm -hmm. what we've got here. So, uh, you know, as a customer comes in, what we do is first is give a lot to her. As you can see right here on the right, these are our service bays. We've got 242 service bays here. First, this front row here is basically what we call the area where we do our PDIs. And of course, PDI being a pre-delivery inspection. Before we put a, a motor home or a fifth wheel or a travel trailer, whatever it be, out on the lot for delivery, we go through it to make sure that all the components are working on it. The slides, the ACs, the refrigerator, all the things that you'd expect to be working. New and pre-owned coaches, we do that through that whole PDI system there. This little area here we call, this is rapid response. So if we have a coach that needs some quick attention, batteries you know are down, coach won't start. Right. These guys are their rapid response team just to get over get it going for us maybe for a test drive they're really good for that of course you see all these coaches out here a lot of folks that come in for service oh, they're all waiting to be these are waiting to be okay. serviced so everything you see is not necessarily for sale it could be a customer uh -huh. that's left it here with a, a service appointment This is our chassis department. We're the, I think, the only dealer in the country that has its very own chassis department. So basically what this means to you as a, a customer, when we bring a coach in on trade, one of the first things we do is bring it to this area right here. You know, jack it up, we pull the wheels and tires off to make sure that the bearings are greased properly, the brakes are working in, in uh, proper order, that the tires are good. 
<laughs> he's gonna pull it in here. That's a pre-owned he's bringing in. So if something comes in that the tires are bad, we change those. We're gonna put, you know, tires on yeah. it. Safety's first and foremost here. As you guys know, you know, you bought the fifth wheel. Oh, yeah. They weren't gonna let you pull it out unless we knew you had the truck that could pull it out. Yeah. Right. You know, it's all. Well, dealerships don't do that. Right, exactly. <laughs> So this is our cabinet shop. We do a lot of custom cabinet work in there. Those guys are great. This is our glass department. You replace windshields. That's what probably doing right here. You know, somebody comes in, they got a crack in the windshield, they replace them there. Cool. Work with the insurance companies on that. Of course, this over here is what we call sundial. This is where they get them to go through the detail and clean up just before delivery. So here is a is the rain bay. If a coach comes in and maybe they've had a leak or see something of a potential leak, we can put it in here, test it out, find a leak and repair it. I don't know That's of any cool. other dealership that has that. We're here on our left. This is our this is our body shop. You know, some sometimes women drive them. And, uh, oh, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Right now. Oh, most of the time the women are better drivers than the men. They've got the downdraft paint booths right here. They're prepping to do body work on these coaches. We've got five of those paint booths. Oh, wow. Here, there's one going in for prep right now to go in the paint booth so they close that up. Wow, look at all the momentum they have. Yep, some of the momentum's there. Yeah. So on this side, you know, we have travel trailers, fifth wheels some pre-owned and new RVs. Uh, here's all the new momentum G-Class. Uh -huh. Yep, this is all toy haulers down through here. So typically, we'll set that up so that certain types of RVs are in a in a certain area. All, all the toy haulers being right down through this area and on the front. Pre-owned Class Cs. So right here, this area is typical for when a pre-owned coach comes in, it goes to chassis, gets checked out, goes through all the safety things, uh, goes to detail for cleanup, and then they bring it here in its stage for pictures to go on the internet. They're one of our really, really good partners. And that's the thing, you know, here at Lazy Days, you know, they, we could have a pick and uh, choose the ones that give us the best support. Yeah. You know, so it's a really good partnership. It's not just say we just bring any random brand in here. We've got a really good partnership with all these manufacturers. Yeah. So that makes that makes a difference. Of course, here you've got Crown Club. Yeah. And I am. Class A diesels are all over in the Crown Club area. And then their delivery line. Oh yeah, we're familiar with that. I think it's over here. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. There's our beauty. Oh, and we've got a bow on it. Nice. Whoop whoop. You spent the night here. Yep, so you're aware of that. So all these coaches that uh, have been prepped, they yep. went through safety, they're coming in now ready for delivery. There's power at each spot here. So they bring their trade in, they're plugged in, and they spend the night here. That way they can transfer their stuff from their trade in to the new coach. It's helpful for the salespeople because we come in and we see if a coach is pulled into the spot, then we know it's coming in. Right. If it's pointed out, obviously it's going out. So it's helpful to see that, uh, okay, I've got an open range roamer coming in. I know a customer that's looking for one of those. These folks are trading up to a Van Lee fifth wheel right here. And then, of course, the importance of having the tech to come out and do a full walkthrough and explain the how-tos on the new coach is very helpful. You know, yeah. Not everybody's count, yeah. so they don't know what the, yeah. the you know the black and the gray tanks are and the fresh water, how to hook up. It's important that the customer know how to do that and how to hook up to it if it's a towable, how to hook up the fifth wheel hitch. We had a an excellent experience with our PDI. I mean, he took his time, really showed us everything. We spent the night on the lot, which mm -hmm. was great, so mm -hmm. that we could make sure there was nothing else that needed to be fixed before we hit the road. Right, in the and morning then, they came out and helped us hitch up. The next morning, yeah. Um, yeah. When they, they came out, he was helped so helpful. Helped us remove our toolbox that we right. fit. <laughs> that's the, you know, that's the point that we try to get across so much when the in the sales process to educate the people to know that it's not just, you know, hand you the keys and say thanks for buying, we'll see you later and good luck. If you got any questions, you know, call the manufacturer. We want you to know and, and feel comfortable that you know how to hook that up, how to operate everything 
to, to pull it out of here. We can vouch for that. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Yep, this is the campground. We got, I think, right at 300 sites of full oh, really? camping. Yeah. I didn't realize it was that big. Did full water check? hookup, power hookup, cable. Right back in this thing into your spot. Okay. Full game room for the kids. Quite a few empty spots right now. Week after next, this place will probably be booked. Right. Typically, right after Thanksgiving, all the snowbirds start coming in, and this books up pretty fast. Look at this old air screen, man. Wow. So this may be the driving class. This is part of the driving oh. course right here, I believe. Yeah, that's my inner well, And that's this a... is typically where they do it. They come through the campground and practice the turns and let the, you know, mm -hmm. the people that's taking the class actually get behind the wheel and drive. They don't put you out on the interstate. Right. But, you know. <laughs> the driver's confidence course is free to customers of Lazy Days. Mm -hmm. You can also, I think, for $100. Yeah, I think it's $150 per couple, and two of you can take the driver's confidence course without being a customer here. I'm going to show you a little video here put out by Michelin Tire and Rubber Company. There is one situation that many drivers dread. We were lucky enough to catch the class in action. They're getting ready to do the driving part of the confidence course. Can we come in? Hello. Hi. Hi. Yeah, it sticks on this coach. Hi. So, once again, right hand turn, pivot point, edge of the grass. That's where the curve would be, so you got to get your hip to the edge of the grass. Then, all the way in the steering wheel, that 55 degree wheel cut brings that red dot in your passenger convex mirror right up to the edge of the grass, and that's right where you want it. That means the coach is in your lane all the way through. I'm going to demonstrate our backing technique. Remember I told you we could do that? And we'll go back that time. Oh, yeah. Units up here, so we do rentals now. This row is typically where we'll have rentals, so rent the Class A's and some Class C's. Mm -hmm. I know your rentals, it'll show online what you have available. It, it does, mm -hmm. yeah. Here you've got Crown Club. So this is a section that we didn't really spend any time in. <laughs> You're my foot. That's true. <laughs> Oops. We drove around it and kind of drooled a little bit at some of these RVs, but this is the Crown Club. This is, this the, is the Crown Club, yep. These are the big boys. Yes, mm -hmm. the big boys, that's right. All Class A diesels, typically, you know, the 250 and up price range. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you purchase one of these, uh, if it's new, obviously you're going to get a three year membership in our Crown Club. If it's a pre owned, that qualifies, you get two year membership okay. in the Crown Club. And there's a ton of amenities that go along with that that okay. we'll talk about. Okay. 50 of the service bays that we talked about or Crown Club okay. and, and the technicians and what they do, you know, the training they've had, they're all, you know, they're RVIA certified or they're working under an RVIA certification. You know, a lot of the technicians in the Crown Club have been here for, for a long time. So this whole row of service bays is the Crown Club service bay. And as you'll notice, they're all Class A diesels, so you don't see any of the gas coaches or C's or fifth wheels or travel trailers in this area. The Crown Club techs guys have had a lot of education, been through a lot of training, a lot of schooling on how to work on these complex RVs, if you will. Yeah. Things with the aqua hot heating systems, you know, heated floors that separate satellite dishes. A, a lot of amenities that's in these high-end Class A diesel motorhomes. When you're scheduled service to come back in for service here at the Crown Club, then you stay in this area here, which is Crown Club camping, and it's free oh. of charge. You so you're camping out here for free. It's oh. a full hookup, just like the resort across the road. So that's why, Chad, when we were when we would drive through and we would come here to see what was available, we're, we couldn't really tell what was actually available and what was being lived in. Exactly. Yeah. See the little sticker on the front windshield, yeah. the little S sticker. Mm -hmm. It's a service ticket. Gotcha. So I was like, don't go in that coach, you know, if it doesn't have a stock number on the front of it. Private pool area here for Crown Club. Oh, that building is, is the club. That's the Crown Club, okay. but we'll take a look in there. <laughs> 
guess this is what it's like to be in the Crown Club royal treatment. They knew we were coming. <laughs> Breakfast is usually from nine. Okay. And lunch is eleven to one. And happy hour drinks are free is four to five thirty. That's a lot of touring. There's yeah. a big freaking place. So we're signing off here with Bama, but we're gonna go now, I think, and go check out the accessory store. Yeah. We don't wanna drag this guy around all day. We're gonna let Bama get back to work and actually make some money instead of just hanging out with us all day. Maybe we'll see you one day in the Crown Club okay. when, we're, when we're ready to- As legit customers. As legit <laughs> customers. And remember, if you wanna buy an RV, come see Bama. That's right. If you wanna buy an RV on the internet, Talk to our guy Stan. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thank you guys for coming. I'll shake your hand, but I'll drop Thank the camera. You. I'll been, shake his yeah, hand. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. That's a, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go to the accessory store, and then we're gonna head home and get the puppy dog. Well, the last stop in our tour today is the accessory store. Ba -ba -ba. Inside there is also where you order what? Parts. Parts. Yeah, so we got our batteries there. Mm -hmm. We technically bought our washer and dryer there, even though that was done through the sales process. The washer and dryer came from here as well as coordinating the installation. I love our washer and dryer. They have a lot of goodies in there, a lot of things that you don't even know that you need until you go in there and then you <laughs> need them. Yeah. And inside here is where they have all their classes. Yeah, now that part is really cool. They've got classes going like sometimes three or four a day. Yeah, and they're different from day to day. And the cool thing is you can go online to their website and get the schedule for the month and find out what day has what class and which one you're interested in and you can plan accordingly. But they have everything from RV for beginners. General RV maintenance. Maintenance, tire safety. I think they might even have like a cooking. They might. And they're doing some of their classes on Facebook Live now. so you. Can see that on yeah, the schedule. Yeah, that's cool. And guess what? You don't have to uh, be a customer or own an RV to come in here nope. and enjoy these free classes. It's great for the new RVer. Absolutely. It, it is. Invaluable. It, definitely. Pretty friggin' tired. This place is huge. Yes, thankfully we had a golf cart and a tour guide. So you've probably noticed that they offer a huge variety of products and services here. And we utilize most of those services. Yeah, we did. Our personal experience buying our RV here, overall really a good experience. It was. Our guy Stan was awesome. He really went to bat for us yeah. and was really there answering any questions that we had. And if he didn't know something, he would find out. He would always take our calls, always answer our texts. Mm -hmm. We really loved that part. And the whole process process really went fairly smoothly, especially considering the complex situation we had, which we won't go into because it's a whole story. Yeah. Maybe we'll do a blog post on that. Maybe. But we used the whole process. Their finance guys were awesome. They were awesome. able to pull our credit, shop it around, mm -hmm. get us the best rate. And their insurance people, I had actually shopped insurance through USAA, but they were able to beat it by a little bit. It's really a one-stop shop. Yeah. The PDI and our delivery experience was outstanding. Yeah. Honestly, that was probably my favorite part. Mm -hmm. Something thing I liked about buying from Lazy Days is the free camping. Yeah, they gave you 14 free nights at an Encore Resort. So our recommendation is find the most expensive place during <laughs> the most expensive season. We did. We did spring in Miami. Mm -hmm. And that was really cool. It was a 
beautiful resort. So take advantage of that. Yep. If you saw our Miami Everglades video in a park that we stayed in during that video, that was our 14 nights of free stay. That helped really drive down our average cost per night. Right, until we got to Maine. <laughs> yeah. We want to thank Bama again for spending all this time with us today and mm -hmm. being a wonderful tour guide. Thanks to Lazy Days for letting us film here and show our perspective of this ginormous Disneyland of RVs. I don't even know if we can say that. Can we say Disneyland? I don't know. And we encourage you to come check it out. It is amazing. There are so many things to look at and to do. It's overwhelming your first time. Luckily they have a cafeteria so you can eat. Yes, you could get refreshments and sit and get some caffeine, which we need to do right now. Yeah, so again, as usual, this is from our experience. And if you have any questions about any details that we didn't get to share in this, please feel free to comment below. We'll definitely get to those as soon as we can. That's right. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video, please. And follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Mm -hmm. Tell them about our website. ChangingLanesRV.com. It's been a long day. See ya. Thanks guys. Thanks Lazy Days. Thanks Bama. <laughs>